What's up, y'all? It's me, Chris, here to talk about um, yesterday's Vitaly Klitschko and Roy Jones fights. Uh, first up, we had the WBC Boy title fight between Vitaly Klitschko and Juan Carlos Gomez. Um, first thing I noticed about this fight was the ring size. Really small ring. I guess before the fight, the day before, Gomez's people had threatened to pull out because uh, the ring was measured like four feet um, less than the WBC regulations offered. I guess it was fixed, but either way, it was a really small ring, which I think is an advantage of Klitschko, you know, if he had to chase Gomez down. That didn't end up being the case, but if he would have had to, he would have been able to catch him pretty easily in that little ring. Anyways, this fight pretty much went the way I thought it would, although it was a bit more one-sided than I thought. Uh, first round, nothing really impressive. You know, go guys were both pawing each other's lead hands. Um, Teddy Ellis noted that uh, Gomez never really throws a jab, and that was the case. Um, so the first few rounds, not too much. Billy was, you know, winning the rounds. Landing the bigger punches. Gomez wasn't really landing anything, to be honest. Nothing really effective. Um, come seventh round, Klitschko knocked uh, Gomez down with a big right hand. Gomez got up. Did his credit survived the round. Uh, round eight. Towards the end of that round, um, Gomez like bent down and turned away from Billy Klitschko on the ref. It almost looked like he was going to quit. But um, Klitschko went after him, and Gomez defended himself, so he made it through that round. Um, come the ninth round... First thing what happened was uh, both guys clashed heads. Unintentional headbutt, you know, clash of heads, and Gomez was cut. For some reason, uh, the referee took a point away from Vitaly Klitschko. Not really sure what that was about, but um, didn't really matter, because uh, once he brought the fighters back together, Klitschko landed another big right that dropped Gomez, and uh, that was pretty much the beginning of the end. Gomez got up, but um, Klitschko just batted him around the ring a little bit more. Gomez got into the ropes, got caught up, his arm got caught up in the ropes. Klitschko landed a few more shots before the ref stepped in and stopped it. Rightfully so, Gomez was done. Um, pretty one-sided fight. You know, not much to say. It wasn't the most exciting fight. You know, um, what's next for Vitaly? Uh, I think he's got a mandatory against Oleg Maskaev. Should be a pretty easy fight for him. You know, I don't see him having much trouble in that fight, to be honest. Go, uh, Maskaev's way past his prime, you know what I'm saying? I don't think he would have beat Klitschko in his prime anyway, but... Uh, after that, you know, I'd like to see him fight uh, the winner of Nikolai Vluev, Rusan Chagayev. I think those guys are supposed to fight. I know uh, Klitschko wants that other belt out there. One of those guys holds it. Plus, I believe he's mentioned wanting to fight Vluev before. I think he could beat either of those guys also. Um, I know people have mentioned David Hay. Hay's trying to make the fight with Vladimir Klitschko, so I don't think that's really a viable option at this time. Um, people have also talked about Chris Ariola. I don't want to see that fight made. I, I don't think Chris Ariola would win that fight. I don't think he's ready for that fight, and I don't think he'd win it. Um, so, you know, not really important to look and see in that fight. To be honest, I don't really see anybody out there on the horizon right now, currently or coming up, that's going to be either of the Klitschko brothers. You know, so, it's just my opinion. Actually, I wouldn't mind seeing uh, Kevin the Kingpin Johnson fight with Italy. Um, I believe he's still undefeated. He's a good technical boxer, has a really good jab, not a lot of power. I don't think he'd beat Italy, but it'd be an interesting, you know, style of fight. I just wouldn't mind seeing it just because, you know, it's a different name. Anyways, on to the Roy Jones fight. Um, this was a boxing and MMA pay-per-view. Um, only $30, but I don't know if the pay-per-view was really worth it. No, none of the fights were really too exciting. First couple of MMA fights were all right, but the second two were really boring. Uh, the other two boxing fights weren't really nothing special either, kind of boring decisions. Um, but on to the Roy Jones fight. First thing I noticed was um, Sheikah looked kind of overweight, looked a little not good physically at that weight, light heavyweight, he fought most of his, or all of his career, uh, Super middleweight, just didn't look good at the weight. Um, anyways, fight started, Roy looked awesome, you know, I can't lie. Roy looked great in this fight, looked, uh, looked like the old Roy Jones, you know what I'm saying, rather than un-old Roy Jones. Um, this fight is very reminiscent of a lot of Roy Jones' uh, mandatory fights on um, HBO, where they were really one-sided fights and Roy looked really spectacular. You know, he was really accurate in this fight. Uh, they didn't show the punch stats after this fight. But I'd be interested in seeing those because it seemed, I mean, not, no exaggeration, Roy probably landed about 80% of his shots. He seemed to land every single fight or punch he threw. Um, the one thing about this fight, um, before the fight I said I thought that Roy took this fight to satiate his ego, so to speak. And, you know, I think that uh, maybe I was right about that. You know, when he came out to the ring, he had that swagger, you know, walking around the ring apron. And then throughout the fight, he was doing a lot of clowning and dancing. A lot of his old antics he used to do back in the day in one-sided fights. Um, the crowd was eating it up, Roy was eating it up, you know, but I wasn't, because it just showed how uncompetitive the fight was, you know. She could just didn't really have much to offer at all, you know. 
It was just a complete one-sided fight. Roy was really fast, um, showed the quick reflexes, showed, you know, looked, you know, like I said, like the old Roy Jones. Um, not as fast, but still really fast. Fast is faster than most fighters still, you know. But um, anyways, um, round four was pretty interesting for a brief point. Roy threw 14 straight jabs. It was pretty impressive just because he landed every single one. He stepped back, kept shooting in the jab. Um, it was it was impressive for him, but it was not impressive because Sheikah just stood there taking him, didn't really do anything. Even when Sheikah, you know, kind of got Roy up against the ropes. Oh, that's the other thing. This is a really big ring in this fight. Probably one of the biggest um, rings I've ever seen, but um, didn't really make a difference either way, you know. But um, even when Sheikah got Roy against the ropes, couldn't really do much. He didn't land a couple flush shots, but they had little to no effect on Roy, to be honest. Um, round five, Roy came out, landing shots like usual. Cut Sheikah over one of the eyes. Landed a couple more flush shots. The ref stepped in and stopped the fight. Rightfully so. Um, Sheikah wasn't hurt, but he wasn't offering anything. You know, the fight was just going to keep going on like that. Roy was dominating. Sheikah had nothing to offer. He wasn't going to win, so why did why, why the guy take an um, unnecessary punishment? Um, Roy did a little dance as soon as the fight was stopped. I don't know. It was kind of silly. The crowd loved it, but I thought it was kind of ridiculous, but whatever. He's out there having fun. He said before the fight, I guess, an interview. He does it because he wants to, you know, as far as fighting, so... Um, he said in an interview after the fight, he said, quote, whoever wanted could come get it. Um, so obviously he's going to continue fighting. You know, a fight I'd like to see, and I know who would want it and would like to come get it would be Glenn Johnson. Same age as Roy, I believe they're both 40. Um, you know, it would be a rematch. You know, Glenn knocked Roy out, I'm sure as we, everybody knows. Why not make the fight, right? You know, Glenn Johnson wants a big fight, it'd be an interesting fight. Um, the other thing is, you know, the way we're looking at this fight, it makes you wonder if he would have... Why he didn't offer a little bit more in the second half of that Kazagi fight? You know, it sure seems like he could have, but he didn't for whatever reason. Um, you know, I'm sure people mentioned Bernard Hopkins as a possible opponent. You know, could be, but I don't see that fight ever happening. Hopkins is trying to set up a fight with Thomas Adamick at Cruiserweight. You know, as far as Hopkins Jones, they could probably sell it still as a pay per view. I think fans would still be intrigued, you know, to be honest. I don't even know who I'd take in that fight. Roy showed that he still got the speed and the reflexes. Um, Hopkins looked great coming off the path with Wayne, so you never know. Styles make fights. Maybe Jones just would have Hopkins' number, but can't say that for sure either. It's good as Hopkins still looks late in his career in as much better season than he was in their first fight. Uh, to be honest, um, we're probably going to fight an opponent like Sheikah again. Um, you know, fight in his hometown, make a lot of money, take easy opponents, you know, why not keep fighting? That's what he wants to do. A uh, fight I could see being made, to be honest would be against um, Jeff Lacey. You know, I think that's a fight that uh, Roy, it would make sense for both guys. Pretty sure Lacey's up at light heavyweight now. Um, I think Roy, it'd be an interesting style of fights. You know, people have questions about both guys, what they have left. Both guys are based out of Florida. It'd make a really big promotion there if I'd make a lot of money. Um, you know, it's just a fight I could see being made, and it makes a lot of sense for both guys. And, you know, I think Roy could win that fight. You know, I'm not saying I'd pick him or not, but I think he could win that fight. And, you know, just don't be surprised if that fight gets made sometime this year. Anyways, like I said, Roy looked great. If you didn't order the paper, you don't worry, you didn't miss out. Um, if you're a Roy fan, you probably were, you know, glad, loved the way he looked. Um, if you're a Roy detractor, you probably hated it. But uh, either way, he looked like an old, his old self for what it's worth. That's it for now, guys. I'm out of here. Till next time.